So how has the digital media impacted the model of Telemundo? Well, just a couple of years ago, we weren't even on Twitter. We didn't even have a Facebook. And it just started, I want to say, three, four years ago, tops, three years ago. And now we have, you know, tons, tons of followers on Twitter. All our properties have um, Facebook um, accounts and Twitter handles. So we, we get to see what the audience likes and what works and what doesn't work. So where is the growth area for Telemundo in the next coming years? I think there's still so much more growth in digital. Given, given all these conferences that they address the, the digital factor, I think that's, that's where the key is. And I think that, that's where the growth is really going to still happen. How do you maintain control of your content? How do I maintain control of my content? Well, when it starts to get out on the internet, people deciding they're going to bootleg it or whatever, is there a way you guys are, are you looking at that or is there not a concern there? I'm sure our attorneys are looking at that. We have a business <laughs> affairs department that handles that, just that. I'm sure our <laughs> Uncle popular. Sam is also looking at that. If you've looked yeah. at the internet recently, there's a yeah. big push on yeah. for people to stop stealing digital content. It's amazing because most people don't think that taking content off the internet is stealing. Yet if you walked into their store and picked up a loaf of bread and started walking out, they might have a different attitude. Exactly, exactly. Especially with this generation. They just feel like, you know what, I'm going to go on Google and I'm going to find this episode. Or I'm going to go on YouTube and find this episode. And, and there's these bootleg blogs that happen and they don't realize how it's affecting our industry. Right. And well, and, and royalties and residuals for performers or producers or people who are you know, putting their lifeline out to put this content out in the first place. Absolutely. So what is different in the content you're looking for? Or are you pretty much in the same direction uh, um, that you have been? Yeah, our main bread and butter is a telenovela. Um, they're a little different than American soaps. You know, they have a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's usually about 120 <laughs> episodes. You mean you don't have to watch for, you don't a, have to watch a, for 10 years? years okay. Right? 50 years. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's usually about six to eight months. Okay. So it has a beginning, a yes. middle, and an end. Nice. Which are great. And uh -huh. that's that genre works wonders right it's doing great we're always looking for entertainment formats too you know game show varieties um, we have court shows we have um, entertainment shows you know the, the dancing um, scantily clad women in no. bikinis dancing no and that does that great. probably sells it does yes it does um, so do you also see with the cross platforming to the digital media also cross-platforming where you'll do overdubbing of Spanish programming into the English market, like the English market has been doing into the Spanish market for so many years. Spanish programming into the... Cut that one out. I have no idea what the answer is. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I have no idea what the answer to that is. <laughs> but do you think that's possible that with the more success of the and the growth of the Hispanic market that more content might start also working its way backwards into the English-speaking market? I think it very well could. I mean, I think we're a force to be reckoned with. We're 55 million Latinos and growing in the United States. So absolutely. absolutely. Well, and Latin now is the second most spoken language on the planet. Next to Chinese, it's surpassed even English now. Yeah, and we're the largest minority, so. So of the conference things that you've been picking up on, do you see that there's the shift and the main focus is to the 360 media, or were there some other things that you've derived out of this? I haven't been able to attend many conferences because I've had many meetings, but the two or three that I've attended have been just that, saying that, the 360 platform. You know, now, will you all... Programming come full circle. Will you also look for content from independent producers, or do you want it all to come from within your own network? No, absolutely. We're always open to doing new ideas. There's, there's fantastic ideas all around the world. So yeah, we are. We do have our, our own production. You know, We produce our own novellas, but we're always looking for new. We, we're not going to close ourselves off. So it's kind of an open door policy that they can submit to your company? Sure, absolutely. That's refreshing to hear. There's Thank a chance. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Thank Barbara. You. Very nice to meet you, and I wish you a lot of success. Thank you very much, likewise. Thank you. And that was Barbara from Telemundo. I'm Kurt Kelly, and we are for Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. at Fountain Blue in Miami. We'll be back with more in just a few moments.